All right, Bobbin with Matt here. I got Cole, and today we're going to go over how to change out the stock exhaust on the Indian Scout Bobber. Pretty simple process, guys. We got two bolts right here. They're going to be 15 millimeters. We're going to back those out. Those are the C clamps that are holding the exhaust on the manifold. And on the back back here, that's going to have a 13 millimeter for the top, and that's going to be the farthest back bolt. And you're going to have a 13 millimeter, and that's for the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and loosen those up, and once those are loosened up, you're going to go ahead and take those bolts off and retain them, and then you're going to work out the exhaust. Alright, so we'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so what we've done is we removed these two bolts from the C-clamp, as you can see. And then on the back side, like I said, on the top and bottom, we're going to have these two 13 millimeters. So basically, right. like Cole's already removed that one, the trick is, and it's helpful if you've got two people, all right, you grab a hold of it and you just, after squirt a little WD-40 in there, just work it off. All right, now you're going to retain these C-clamps and we're going to put those on the new exhaust. All right, so we got the new slip-ons here from Tab Performance. All right, as you can see, Cole's already put the C-clamp on there. And this part's just a tiny bit tricky because there's this little uh, movable bracket in here that's going to help secure this clamp. So before you put this on, obviously one's going to go front, one's going to go to the back. All right, or the bottom, top and bottom, front and back. So the bottom one is going to have the most forward front bracket here. C-clamp's going to go on, and all you're going to want to do is just pop it on there so that it's nice and flush with the cutoffs. All right, and then as you see here, Cole has gone ahead and slid the new one in. The wedge goes in first. You're going to put the wedge on the bracket on there and put the bolt, bolt the nut on. And we're just going to get it just kind of finger tight. Because what we want to do is we want to get everything lined up and get everything on there at least finger tight before we shore it up and get it all tightened. All right, so a little bit of trial and error here. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull this top one back off so we can get the bottom one on. All right, this is a little bit of redneck engineering here. We didn't think about this. So easy peasy. We'll get that on there like that. And then we can just tighten this down and you can put the wrench on the back side. Once I get it finger tight, hold it steady for me. Alright, that ain't going nowhere. Alright, so that's how we did that. So now, we'll go ahead and put the top one back on and it should just line right up for us. And then just be careful here, go slow, you don't want to scratch your pretty new bike. You know what it's a bother and they look kind of good beat up, so we'll just let that happen naturally. <laughs> Alright, when we come back, you should be hearing the new exhaust. So if you can see the smile on my face right now, I'm a, I'm a happy customer. Money well spent. I don't know about you, but I love it. Alright, so that's the Tab Performance Slip-On Shorties. 10 minutes total time, 20 minutes maybe. What a difference. Alright, take a look at this bike here. It just completely changes the nature of this bike. All right, with that chopped fender, it lines up perfectly with that chopped fender and it just makes this bike look mean. All right, so that's it for the day, guys. Next up, we're gonna change out these handlebar grips with these Vans X-Cult Red. All right, so keep an eye out for that video coming up.